Trinidad and Tobago slash de unregistered trademark NTE Micron Ebioche slash, officially the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, is a twin island country off the northern edge of South America, lying just off the coast of northeastern Venezuela and south of Grenada in the Lesser Antilles. Usually considered part of the Caribbean, it shares maritime boundaries with other nations including Barbados to the northeast, Grenada to the northwest, Guyana to the southeast, and Venezuela to the south and west. The country covers an area of 5,128 square kilometers and consists of two main islands, Trinidad and Tobago, with numerous smaller landforms. The two main islands are divided into nine regions, and one ward. Sangre Grande is the largest of the country's nine regions, comprising about 18% of the total area and 10% of the total population of the country. The nation lies outside of the hurricane belt. The island of Trinidad was a Spanish colony from the arrival of Christopher Columbus in 1498 to the capitulation of the Spanish governor, Don Jose copyright Maria Sherco Cubden, on the arrival of a British fleet of 18 warships on February 18, 1797. During the same period, the island of Tobago changed hands among Spanish, British, French, Dutch and Colander colonizers. Trinidad and Tobago was ceded to Britain in 1802 under the Treaty of Amiens. The country Trinidad and Tobago obtained independence in 1962, becoming a republic in 1976. Unlike most of the English-speaking Caribbean, the country's economy is primarily industrial, with an emphasis on petroleum and petrochemicals. Trinidad and Tobago is known for its carnival and is the birthplace of Stielpen, Limbo, and the music styles of Calypso. Sica and Chutney. Etymology, historian E. L. Joseph claimed that Trinidad's Amerindian name was Ya or Land of the Hummingbird, derived from the Arawak name for hummingbird, Iara Tta or Ureta. However, Boomert claims that neither Kerry nor Kerry means hummingbird and Tukisai or Tukaki does. Others have reported that Kerry and Ia simply mean island. Christopher Columbus renamed it La Isla de la Trinidad fulfilling a vow made before setting out on his third voyage of exploration. Tobago's cigar-like shape may have given it its Spanish name and possibly its Amerindian names of Alabao copyright Ra and the Repena, although the English pronunciation is, rhyming with Plumbago and Sago. Geography Trinidad and Tobago are southeasterly islands of the Antilles, situated between 10 a degree 2 feet and 11 a degree 12 feet in latitude and 60 a degree 30 feet and 61 a degree 56 feet w longitude. At the closest point, Trinidad is just 11 kilometers off the Venezuelan coast. Covering an area of 5,128 a km2, the country consists of the two main islands, Trinidad and Tobago, and numerous smaller landforms a euro including Shukakaka, Monos, Huravos, Gaspar Grande, Little Tobago, and St. Giles Island. Trinidad is 4,768 a km2 in area with an average length of 80 a km and an average width of 59 km. Tobago has an area of about 300 a km2, or 5.8% of the country's area, is 41 a km long and 12 a km at its greatest width. Trinidad and Tobago lie on the continental shelf of South America and is thus geologically considered to lie entirely in South America. However, the West Indies are generally considered to be part of North America, and as the language and cultural links of Trinidad and Tobago are not to South America, but to the rest of the English-speaking Caribbean nations, the nation is often treated as part of North America. The terrain of the islands is a mixture of mountains and plains. The highest point in the country is found on the northern range at El Cerro de la Riepo, which is 940 meters above sea level. As the majority of the population live in the island of Trinidad, this is the location of most major towns and cities. There are three major municipalities in Trinidad, Port of Spain, the capital, San Fernando, and Chaguanas. The main town in Tobago is Scarborough. Trinidad is made up of a variety of soil types, the majority being fine sands and heavy clays. The alluvial valleys of the northern range and the soils of the east-west corridor are the most fertile. Geology, the northern range consists mainly of Upper Jurassic and Cretaceous metamorphic rocks. 
the northern lowlands consist of younger shallow marine clastic sediments. South of this, the central range fold and thrust belt consists of Cretaceous and Eocene sedimentary rocks, with Miocene formations along the southern and eastern flanks. The Naparama Plains and the Nariva Swamp form the southern shoulder of this uplift. The southern lowlands consist of Miocene and Pliocene sands, clays, and gravels. These overly oil and natural gas deposits, especially north of the Los Bajos Fault. The southern range forms the third anticlinal uplift. It consists of several chains of hills, most famous being the Trinity Hills. The rocks consist of sandstones, shales and siltstones and clays formed in the Miocene and uplifted in the Pleistocene. Oil sands and mud volcanoes are especially common in this area. Climate The climate is tropical. There are two seasons annually, the dry season for the first six months of the year, and the rainy season in the second half of the year. Winds are predominantly from the northeast and are dominated by the northeast trade winds. Unlike most of the other Caribbean islands, both Trinidad and Tobago have frequently escaped the wrath of major devastating hurricanes, including Hurricane Ivan, the most powerful storm to have passed close to the islands in recent history, in September 2004. Record temperatures for Trinidad and Tobago were 39 AA degrees Celsius for the high end port of Spain, and a low of 12 AA degrees Celsius. Biodiversity Because Trinidad and Tobago are very close to continental South America, their biological diversity is unlike that of most other Caribbean islands, and is much in common with that of Venezuela. The main ecosystems are coastal and marine, forest, freshwater, karst man-made ecosystems, and savanna. On August 1, 1996, Trinidad and Tobago ratified the 1992 Rio Convention on Biological Diversity, and it has produced a Biodiversity Action Plan and four reports describing the country's contribution to biodiversity conservation. The reports formally acknowledged the importance of biodiversity to the well-being of the country's people through provision of ecosystem services. Information about vertebrates is good, with 467 bird species, more than 100 mammals, about 90 reptiles, about 30 amphibians, 50 freshwater fish and at least 950 marine fish. Information about invertebrates is dispersed and very incomplete. About 650 butterflies, at least 672 beetles and 40 corals have been recorded. Although the list is far from complete, 1647 species of fungi, including lichens, have been recorded. The true total number of fungi is likely to be far higher, given the generally accepted estimate that only about 7% of all fungi worldwide have so far been discovered. A first effort to estimate the number of endemic fungi tentatively listed 407 species. Information about microorganisms is dispersed and very incomplete. Nearly 200 species of marine algae have been recorded. The true total number of microorganism species must be much higher. Thanks to a recently published checklist, plant diversity in Trinidad and Tobago is well documented with about 3,300 species recorded. History Trinidad, both Trinidad and Tobago were originally settled by Amerindians of South American origin. Trinidad was first settled by pre-agricultural archaic people at least 7,000 years ago, making it the earliest settled part of the Caribbean. Ceramic using agriculturalists settled Trinidad around 250 BC, and then moved further up the Lesser Antillean chain. At the time of European contact, Trinidad was occupied by various Arawakan-speaking groups including the Nepua and Sapoya, and Caribbean-speaking groups such as the Yao while Tobago was occupied by the island Caribs and Galibai. Christopher Columbus encountered the island of Trinidad on July 31, 1498. Antonio de Sedia plus or minus O, a Spanish soldier intent on conquering the island of Trinidad, landed on its southwest coast with a small army of men in the 1530s as a means of controlling the Orinoco and subduing the array. Sedeno and his men fought the native Carib Indians on many occasions, and subsequently built a fort. Cachique Bonawayne granted the Saint Joseph area to Domingo de Vera e I Barga one quarter N in 1592, and then withdrew to another part of the island. 
San Jose Copyright de Arua Plus or Minus A was established by Antonio de Berrio on this land. Sir Walter Raleigh, searching for the long-rumored city of gold in South America, arrived in Trinidad on March 22, 1595 and soon attacked San Jose Copyright and captured and interrogated de Berrio, obtaining much information from him and from the Cachicto Piawari. The Arena Massacre or Arena Uprising took place on December 1, 1699 in Trinidad. It resulted in the death of several hundred Amerindians, Roman Catholic priests connected with the mission of San Francisco de los Arenales and the Spanish governor Jose Copyright de Lee Cube de Shales and all but one member of his party. Amerindians tied to the churches in Cominda at the mission at Arena revolted, killing the priests and desecrating the church. They then ambushed the governor and his party, who were on their way to visit the church. Among those killed in the governor's party was F. R. Juan Mazian de Sotomayor, O.P., missionary priest to the Puyo villages of Quara, Tacarigua and Arauca. In the 1700s, Trinidad belonged as an island province to the Viceroyalty of New Spain together with Central America, present-day Mexico and southwestern United States. However, Trinidad in this period was still mostly forest, populated by a few Spaniards with a handful of slaves and a few thousand Amerindians. Spanish colonization in Trinidad remained tenuous. Because Trinidad was considered underpopulated, Ram de Saint Laurent, a Frenchman living in Grenada, was able to obtain a car copyright de la de Pablesa Cube den from the Spanish King Charles III on November 4, 1783. This car copyright de la de Pablesa Cube den was more generous than the first of 1776, and granted free lands to Roman Catholic foreign settlers and their slaves in Trinidad willing to swear allegiance to the Spanish king. The land grant was 30 fenegors for each man, woman and child and half of that for each slave brought. As a result, Scots, Irish, German, Italian and English families arrived. Protestants benefited from Governor Don Jose copyright Marina Chacon's generous interpretation of the law. During the French Revolution French planters with their slaves, free coloreds and mulattoes from neighboring islands of Martinique, St. Lucia, Grenada, Guadeloupe and Dominica migrated to Trinidad where they established an agriculture-based economy. These new immigrants established local communities in Blanchisseurs, Champs Fleurs, Cascade, Carenage and Laventille. Trinidad's population jumped to over 15,000 by the end of 1789, from just under 1,400 in 1777. By 1797 the population of Port of Spain had increased from under 3,000 to 10,422 in five years, and consisted of people of mixed race, Spaniards, Africans, French Republican soldiers, retired pirates and French nobility. The total population of Trinidad was 17,718, of which 2,151 were of European ancestry, 4,476 were free blacks and people of color, 10,009 were slaves and 1,082 Amerindians. In 1797, General Sir Ralph Abercrombie and his squadron sailed through the Bocas and anchored off the coast of Chagaramas. The Spanish governor Chacon decided to capitulate without fighting. Trinidad thus became a British crown colony, with a French-speaking population and Spanish laws. The conquest and formal ceding of Trinidad in 1802 led to an influx of settlers from England and the British colonies of the Eastern Caribbean. The sparse settlement and slow rate of population increased during Spanish rule and even after British rule made Trinidad one of the less populated colonies of the West Indies with the least developed plantation infrastructure. Under British rule, new estates were created and slave importation increased to facilitate development of the land into highly profitable sugarcane estates, but mass importation of slaves was still limited and hindered, arguably by abolitionist efforts in Britain. The abolitionist movement and the decreased economic viability of slavery as a means of procuring labor both resulted in the abolition of slavery in 1833 via the Slavery Abolition Act 1833, which was followed by the substitution of an apprenticeship period. This was also abolished in 1838, with full emancipation being granted on August 1. An overview of the population statistics in 1838, however, clearly reveals the contrast between Trinidad and its neighboring islands.
Upon emancipation of the slaves in 1838, Trinidad had only 17,439 slaves, with 80% of slave owners having less than 10 slaves each. In contrast, at twice the size of Trinidad, Jamaica had roughly 360,000 slaves. Upon emancipation, therefore, the plantation owners were in severe need of labor, and the British filled this need by instituting a system of indentureship. Various nationalities were contracted under this system, including Chinese, Portuguese and Indians. Of these, the Indians were imported in the largest numbers, starting from May 1, 1845, when 225 Indians were brought in the first shipment to Trinidad on the fatal Rosac, a Muslim-owned vessel indentureship of the Indians lasted from 1845 to 1917, during which more than 147,000 Indians were brought to Trinidad to work on sugar cane plantations. They added what was initially the second largest population grouping to the young nation, and their labor developed previously underdeveloped plantation lands. The indentureship contract was exploitative, such that historians including Hugh Tinker were to call it a new system of slavery. People were contracted for a period of five years with a daily wage, after which they were guaranteed return passage to India. Coercive means were often used to obtain laborers, however, and the indentureship contracts were soon extended to ten years after the planters complained they were losing their labor too early. In lieu of the return passage, the British authorities soon began offering portions of land to encourage settlement. However, the numbers of people who did receive land grants is unclear. Indians entering the colony were also subject to particular crown laws which segregated them from the rest of Trinidad's population, such as the requirement that they carry a pass with them once off the plantations, and that if freed, they carry their free papers, or certificate indicating completion of the indenture period. The ex-indentureds came to constitute a vital and significant section of the population, as did the ex-slaves. The cacao crop also contributed greatly to the economic earnings in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. After the collapse of the cacao crop, petroleum increasingly came to dominate the economy. Petroleum was discovered in 1857. The collapse of the sugarcane industry concomitant with the failure of the cocoa industry resulted in widespread depression among the rural and agricultural workers in Trinidad, and encouraged the rise of the labor movement in the 1920 Euro 1930 period. This was led by Tubal Uriya Buzz Butler, who, in combination with his Indian partners, aimed to unite the working class and agricultural labor class to achieve a better standard of living for all as well as to hasten the departure of the British. This effort was severely undermined by the British Home Office and by the British-educated Trinidadian elite, many of whom were descended from the plantocracy themselves. They instigated a vicious race politicking in Trinidad aimed at dividing the class-based movement on race-based lines, and they succeeded, especially since Butler's support had collapsed from the top down. The depression and the rise of the oil economy led to changes in the social structure. By the 1950s, petroleum had become a staple in Trinidad's export market, and was responsible for a growing middle class among all sections of the Trinidad population. Tobago, Columbus reported seeing Tobago on the distant horizon in 1498, naming it Bella Forma, but did not land on the island. The present name of Tobago is thought to be a corruption of its old name, Tobacco. The Dutch and the Colanders established themselves in Tobago in the 16th and 17th centuries and produced tobacco and cotton. Over the centuries, Tobago changed hands between Spanish, British, French, Dutch and Colander colonizers. Britain consolidated its hold on both islands during the Napoleonic Wars, and they were combined into the colony of Trinidad and Tobago in 1889. As a result of these colonial struggles, Amerindian, Spanish, French and English place names are all common in the country. African slaves and Chinese, Indian, Tamil and free African indentured laborers, as well as Portuguese from Madeira, arrived to supply labor in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Emigration from Barbados and the other Lesser Antilles, Venezuela, Syria and Lebanon also impacted on the ethnic makeup of the country. Independence Trinidad and Tobago gained its independence from the United Kingdom on August 31, 1962. Eric Williams, 
a noted Caribbean historian, widely regarded as the father of the nation, was the first prime minister. He served from 1956, before independence, until his death in 1981. The presence of American military bases in Chagaramas and Kimuto in Trinidad during World War II profoundly changed the character of society. In the post-war period, the wave of decolonization that swept the British Empire led to the formation of the West Indies Federation in 1958 as a vehicle for independence. Chagaramas was the proposed site for the federal capital. The federation dissolved after the withdrawal of Jamaica and the government chose to seek independence on its own. In 1976, the country severed its links with the British monarchy and became a republic within the Commonwealth, though it retained the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council as its final court of appeal. Between the years 1972 and 1983, the Republic profited greatly from the rising price of oil, as the oil-rich country increased its living standards greatly. In 1990, 114 members of the Jamaat el muslimin led by Yasin Abu Bakr, formerly known as Lennox Philip, stormed the Red House, and Trinidad and Tobago Television, the only television station in the country at the time, and held the country's government hostage for six days before surrendering. Since 2003, the country has entered a second oil boom, a driving force which the government hopes to use to turn the country's main export back to sugar and agriculture. Great concern was raised in August 2007 when it was predicted that this boom would last only until 2018. Petroleum, petrochemicals and natural gas continue to be the backbone of the economy. Tourism and the public service are the mainstay of the economy of Tobago, though authorities have begun to diversify the island. The bulk of tourist arrivals on the islands are from Western Europe. Politics Trinidad and Tobago is a republic with a two-party system and a bicameral parliamentary system based on the Westminster system. The head of state of Trinidad and Tobago is the president, currently Anthony Carmona. The head of government is the prime minister. The president is elected by an electoral college consisting of the full membership of both houses of parliament. The prime minister is elected from the results of a general election which takes place every five years. The president is required to appoint the leader of the party who in his opinion has the most support of the members of the House of Representatives to this post. This has generally been the leader of the party which won the most seats in the previous election. Tobago also has its own elections, separate from the general elections. In these elections, members are elected and serve in the Tobago House of Assembly. Parliament consists of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The members of the Senate are appointed by the President. Sixteen government senators are appointed on the advice of the Prime Minister, six opposition senators are appointed on the advice of the Leader of the Opposition and nine independent senators are appointed by the President to represent other sectors of civil society. The 41 members of the House of Representatives are elected by the people for a maximum term of five years in a first-past-the-post system. From December 24, 2001 to May 24, 2010, the governing party has been the People's National Movement led by Patrick Manning. The opposition party was the United National Congress led by Basteo Pande. Another recent party was the Congress of the People, or COP, led by Winston Dukaran. Support for these parties appears to fall along ethnic lines with the PNM consistently obtaining a majority of Afro-Trinidadian vote and the UNC gaining a majority of Indo-Trinidadian support. COP gained 23% of the votes in the 2007 general elections but failed to win a seat. Prior to May 24, 2010, the PNM held 26 seats in the House of Representatives and the UNC alliance held 15 seats, following elections held on November 5, 2007. After just two and a half years, Prime Minister Patrick Manning dissolved Parliament in April 2010, and called a general election on May 24, 2010. After these general elections, the new governing coalition is the People's Partnership led by Kamla Pasat Bissar. Pasat Bissar and the People's Partnership wrested power from the Patrick Manning-led PNM, taking home 29 seats to the PNM's 12 seats, based on preliminary results. There are 14 municipal corporations, which have a limited level of autonomy. 
the various councils are made up of a mixture of elected and appointed members. Elections are due to be held every three years, but have not been held since 2003, four extensions having been sought by the government. Trinidad and Tobago is a leading member of the Caribbean community in the CARICOM single market and economy, of which only the Caribbean single market is in force. It is also the seat of the Caribbean Court of Justice, which was inaugurated on April 16, 2005. The CCJ is intended to replace the British Judicial Committee of the Privy Council as the final appellate court for the member states of the CARICOM. Since its inauguration, only two states, Barbados and Guyana, have acceded to the appellate jurisdiction of the CCJ. The CCJ also serves as an original jurisdiction in the interpretation of the revised Treaty of Shagaramas, to which all members of CARICOM have acceded. Administrative Divisions Trinidad is split into 14 regional corporations and municipalities, consisting of nine regions and five municipalities and administered by the Municipal Corporations Act 21 of 1990 and its amendments. The island of Tobago is governed by the Tobago House of Assembly. Orders and decorations, there are five categories and 13 classes of national awards, the Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in gold only. The Shaconia Medal, in gold, silver and bronze. The Hummingbird Medal, in gold, silver and bronze. The Public Service Medal of Merit, in gold, silver and bronze. The Medal for the Development of Women, in gold, silver and bronze, national songs. The national anthem of the Twin Island State is forged from the love of liberty. Other national songs include God Bless Our Nation and Our Nation's Dawning. Military The Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force is the military organization responsible for the defense of the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. It consists of the Regiment, the Coast Guard, the Air Guard and the Defense Force Reserves. Established in 1962 after Trinidad and Tobago's independence from the United Kingdom, the TTDF is one of the largest military forces in the English-speaking Caribbean. Its mission statement is to defend the sovereign good of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, contribute to the development of the national community and support the state in the fulfillment of its national and international objectives. The Defense Force has been engaged in domestic incidents, such as the 1990 coup attempt, and international missions, such as the United Nations mission in Haiti between 1993 and 1996. Economy Trinidad and Tobago is one of the wealthiest and most developed nations in the Caribbean and is listed in the top 40 of the 70 high-income countries in the world. It has one of the highest GDP per capita of USD $20,300 in the Caribbean. In November 2011, the OECD removed Trinidad and Tobago from its list of developing countries. Trinidad's economy is strongly influenced by the petroleum industry. Tourism and manufacturing are also important to the local economy. Tourism is a growing sector, although not proportionately as important as in many other Caribbean islands. Agricultural products include citrus, cocoa, and other products. Recent growth has been fueled by investments in liquefied natural gas, petrochemicals, and steel. Additional petrochemical, aluminum, and plastics projects are in various stages of planning. Trinidad and Tobago is the leading Caribbean producer of oil and gas, and its economy is heavily dependent upon these resources but it also supplies manufactured goods, notably food and beverages, as well as cement to the Caribbean region. Oil and gas account for about 40% of GDP and 80% of exports, but only 5% of employment. The country is also a regional financial center, and the economy has a growing trade surplus. The expansion of Atlantic LNG over the past six years created the largest single sustained phase of economic growth in Trinidad and Tobago. It has become the leading exporter of LNG to the United States and now supplies some 70% of U.S. LNG imports. Trinidad and Tobago has transitioned from an oil-based economy to a natural gas-based economy. In 2007, natural gas production averaged 4 a billion cubic feet per day, compared with 3.2 a, 10.6 a QAFTD in 2005. In December 2005, 
The Atlantic LNG's fourth production module or train for liquefied natural gas began production. Train 4 has increased Atlantic LNG's overall output capacity by almost 50% and is the largest LNG train in the world at 5.2 million tons year of LNG. Trinidad and Tobago's infrastructure is good by regional standards. The international airport in Trinidad was expanded in 2001. There is an extensive network of paved roads with several good four- and six-lane highways including one controlled access expressway. The Ministry of Works estimates that an average Trinidadian spends about four hours in traffic per day. Emergency services are reliable, but may suffer delays in rural districts. Private hospitals are available and reliable. Utilities are fairly reliable in the cities. Some areas, however, especially rural districts, still suffer from water shortages. Telephone service is relatively modern and reliable. Cellular service is widespread and has been the major area of growth for several years. Telecommunications services of Trinidad and Tobago Limited is the largest telephone and Internet service provider in Trinidad and Tobago. The company, which is jointly owned by the government of Trinidad and Tobago and Cable and Wireless, was formed out of a merger of Telco and Textel. TSTT no longer holds a monopoly in fixed-line telephone services due to Flow introducing a fixed-line service of their own, and their cellular monopoly was broken in June 2005 when licenses were granted to Digicel and LAQTEL. LAQTEL however never started business. Transport the transport system in Trinidad and Tobago consists of a network of roads across both major islands, ferries connecting Port of Spain with Scarborough and San Fernando, and commercial airports on both islands. Public transportation options on land are public buses, private taxis and minibuses. By sea, the options are inter-island ferries and inter-city water taxis. Airports the island of Trinidad is served by Iarco International Airport located in Iarco. It was opened on January 8, 1931. Elevated at 17.4 meters above sea level it comprises an area of 680 hectares and has a runway of 3,200 meters. The airport consists of two terminals, the North Terminal and a South Terminal. The older South Terminal underwent renovations in 2009 for use as a VIP entrance point during the Fifth Summit of the Americas. The North Terminal was completed in 2001, and consists of 14 second-level aircraft gates with jetways for international flights, two ground-level domestic gates and 82 ticket counter positions. Iarco International Airport was voted the Caribbean's leading airport for customer satisfaction and operational efficiency at the prestigious World Travel Awards, held in the Turks and Caicos in 2006. In 2008 the passenger throughput at Iarco International Airport was approximately 2.6 million. As of December 2006, 19 international airlines operated out of Iarco and offered flights to 27 international destinations. Caribbean Airlines, the national airline, operates its main hub at the Iarco International Airport and services the Caribbean, the United States, Canada and South America. The airline is wholly owned by the government of Trinidad and Tobago. After an additional cash injection of 50 million US dollars, the Trinidad and Tobago government acquired the Jamaican airline Air Jamaica on May 1, 2010, with a 6 euro 12 month transition period to follow. The island of Tobago is served by the A.N.A. Robinson International Airport in Crown Point, Tobago. This airport has regular services to North America and Europe. Demographics As of 2005, most of the country's 1.3 million inhabitants reside on the island of Trinidad with the remainder in Tobago. The ethnic composition of Trinidad and Tobago reflects a history of conquest and immigration. Religion Many different religions are present in Trinidad and Tobago. Among Christian denominations are Roman Catholics, Anglicans, Seventh-day Adventists, Presbyterians, Methodists, Jehovah's Witnesses and other evangelical groups. Other religious groups include Hindus and Muslims. Two African syncretic faiths, the Shouta or Spiritual Baptists and the Orisha faith are among the fastest growing religious groups. Similarly, 
there is a noticeable increase in numbers of evangelical and fundamentalist churches usually lumped as Pentecostal by most Trinidadians. A small Judaic community exists, as well as several other Eastern religions such as Buddhism and Taoism are followed by the Chinese community. There is also a small Baha'i community. Language English is the country's official language, but the main spoken language is either of two English-based Creole languages which reflects the Amerindian, European, African, and Indian heritage of the nation. Both Creoles contain elements from a variety of African languages. Trinidadian English Creole, however, is also influenced by French and French Creole. Spanish is estimated to be spoken by around 5% of the population, and has been promoted by recent governments as a first foreign language. Most of the Indian arrivals spoke Bojurai. Attempts are being made to preserve this, including the promotion of an Indo-Trinidadian musical form called Pai which is typically sung in a mixture of English, Hindi and Bojurai. Education Children generally start preschool at the early age of two and a half years. This level of tuition is not mandatory but most children start school at this stage as children are expected to have basic reading and writing skills when they commence primary school. Students proceed to a primary school at the age of five years. Seven years are spent in primary school. The seven classes of primary school consists of first year and second year, followed by standard one through standard five. During the final year of primary school, students prepare for and sit the secondary entrance assessment which determines the secondary school the child will attend. Students attend secondary school for a minimum of five years, leading to the CSEC examinations, which is the equivalent of the British GCSEO levels. Children with satisfactory grades may opt to continue high school for a further two-year period, leading to the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examinations, the equivalent of GCEA levels. Both CSEC and CAPE examinations are held by the Caribbean Examinations Council. Public primary and secondary education is free for all, although private and religious schooling is available for a fee. Tertiary education is also free for all, up to the level of the bachelor's degree, at the University of the West Indies, the University of Trinidad and Tobago, the University of the Southern Caribbean, the College of Science, Technology and Applied Arts of Trinidad and Tobago and certain other local accredited institutions. Government also currently subsidizes some master's programs. Both the government and the private sector also provide financial assistance in the form of academic scholarships to gifted or needy students for study at local, regional or international universities. Culture Trinidad and Tobago is the birthplace of Calypso Music and Estielpan which is widely claimed in Trinidad and Tobago to be the only acoustic musical instrument invented during the 20th century. Trinidad is also the birthplace of Sica, Chutney, Parang, and Carnival. The diverse cultural and religious background also allows for many festivities and ceremonies throughout the year. Trinidad and Tobago claims two Nobel Prize winning authors, V.S. Napal and St. Lucian-born Derek Walcott. Edmundo Ros the king of Latin American music, was born in Port of Spain. Designer Peter Minchel is renowned not only for his carnival costumes but also for his role in opening ceremonies of the Barcelona Olympics, the 1994 Football World Cup, the 1996 Summer Olympics and the 2002 Winter Olympics, for which he won an Emmy Award. Jeffrey Holder and Heather Headley are two Trinidad-born artists who have won Tony Awards for theatre. Holder also has a distinguished film career, and Headley has won a Grammy Award as well. Recording artists Billy Ocean and Nicki Minaj are also Trinidadian. Interestingly, three actors who appeared on Will Smith's sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air are of Trinidadian descent, Tatiana Ali and Alfonso Ribeiro were series regulars as Will's cousins Ashley and Carlton, respectively, while Nia Long played Will's girlfriend Lisa. Foxy Brown, Dean Marshall, Sommel, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Gabrielle Reese, pop singer Hardaway, Tracy Kwan, Mike Bibby, Lauren Williams and Roy Hibbert are all of Trinidadian descent. Trinidad and Tobago also has the distinction of being the smallest country to have two Miss Universe title holders and the first black women to ever win, Janelle Comerciong in 1977 and Wendy Fitzwilliam in 1998, 
and won Miss World title holder Giselle La Ronde. Sports, Olympics Hazley Crawford won the first Olympic gold medal for Trinidad and Tobago in the men's 100 a.m. dash in the 1976 Summer Olympics. Nine different athletes from Trinidad and Tobago have won 12 medals at the Olympics, beginning with a silver medal in weightlifting, won by Rodney Wilkes in 1948, and most recently, a gold medal by Kashawn Walcott in the men's javelin throw in 2012. Atto Bolden has won the most Olympic and World Championship medals for Trinidad and Tobago in athletics, with eight in total a Euro four from the Olympics and four from the World Championships. Bolden is the only world champion Trinidad and Tobago has produced to date in athletics. He won the 1997 200 AM Sprint World Championship in Athens. Swimmer George Beauville III won a bronze medal in the men's 200 MIM in 2004. Also in 2012 Lalonde Gordon competed in the XXX Summer Olympics where he won a bronze medal in the 400 meters, being surpassed by Lagalin Santos of the Dominican Republic and Karani James of Grenada. Kishon Walcott came first in javelin and obtained a gold medal, making him the second Trinidadian in the country's history to obtain one. This also makes him the first Western athlete in 40 years to obtain gold in the javelin sport and the first athlete from Trinidad and Tobago to win a gold medal in a field event in the Olympics. Cricket Cricket is one of the most popular sports of Trinidad and Tobago, with intense inter-island rivalry with its Caribbean neighbours. Trinidad and Tobago is represented at Test Cricket, One Day International as well as 2020 cricket level as a member of the West Indies team. The national team plays at the first class level in regional competitions. Trinidad and Tobago along with other islands from the Caribbean co-hosted the 2007 Cricket World Cup. Brian Lara, world record holder for the most runs scored both in a test and in a first-class innings and other records, was born in a small town of Santa Cruz, Trinidad and Tobago and is often referred to as the Prince of Port of Spain or simply the Prince. This legendary West Indian batsman is widely regarded as one of the best batsmen ever to have played the game, and is one of the most famous sporting icons in the country. Football The national football team qualified for the 2006 FIFA World Cup for the first time by beating Bahrain and Manama on November 16, 2005, making them the smallest country ever to qualify. The team, coached by Dutchman Leo Beenhacker, and led by Tob Ergonian-born captain Dwight York, drew their first group game a Euro against Sweden in Dortmund, 0-0-0, but lost the second game to England on late goals, 0-0-2. They were eliminated after losing 2-0-0 to Paraguay in the last game of the group stage. Prior to the 2006 World Cup qualification, Trinidad and Tobago came agonizingly close in a controversial qualification campaign for the 1974 FIFA World Cup. Following the match, the referee of their critical game against Haiti was awarded a lifetime ban for his actions. Trinidad and Tobago again fell just short of qualifying for the World Cup in 1990, needing only a draw at home against the United States but losing 1-0-0. Trinidad and Tobago hosted the 2001 FIFA U-17 World Championship, and hosted the 2010 FIFA U-17 Women's World Cup. The TT Pro League is the country's primary football competition and is the top level of the Trinidad and Tobago Football League system. The Pro League serves as a league for professional football clubs in Trinidad and Tobago. The league began in 1999 as part of a need for a professional league to strengthen the country's national team and improve the development of domestic players. The first season took place in the same year beginning with eight teams. Other sports, netball has long been a popular sport in Trinidad and Tobago, although it has declined in popularity in recent years. At the Netball World Championships they co-won the event in 1979, were runners-up in 1987, and second runners-up in 1983. Rugby union is played in Trinidad and Tobago. Basketball is commonly played in Trinidad and Tobago in colleges, universities and throughout various urban basketball courts. Rugby continues to be a popular sport, and horse racing is regularly followed in the country. There is also the Trinidad and Tobago national baseball team which is controlled by the Baseball Softball Association of Trinidad and Tobago, 
and represents the nation in international competitions. The team is a provisional member of the Pan American Baseball Confederation. National Symbols Flag The flag was chosen by the Independence Committee in 1962. Red, black and white symbolize the warmth of the people, the earth and water respectively. Coat of Arms The coat of arms was designed by the Independence Committee, and features the scarlet ibis, the cockroco and hummingbird. The shield bears three ships, representing both the Trinity, and the three ships that Columbus sailed. See also Outline of Trinidad and Tobago, Index of Trinidad and Tobago related articles, Anglican Diocese of Trinidad and Tobago, Cuisine of Trinidad and Tobago, International Rankings of Trinidad and Tobago, List of Trinidad and Tobago Euro related topics. Footnotes References Camichael, Gertrude. The History of the West Indian Islands of Trinidad and Tobago, 1498 Euro 1900. Alvin Redman, London. Hill, Donald Ocalypso Callaloo, Early Carnival Music in Trinidad ISBN 0-8130-1221-X. ISBN 0-8130-1222-8. University Press of Florida 2nd Edition, Temple University Press ISBN 1-59213-463-7. Raymond 1983. Atlas Kaizo, A Short History of Trinidad Calypso University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Trinidad. Further reading, Besson, Gar Copyright Rad and Brereton, Bridget. The Book of Trinidad, Port of Spain, Pariah Publishing Company Limited. ISBN 976-8054-36-0, Julian Kenny. Views from the Ridge. Port of Spain, Prospect Press, Media and Editorial Projects Limited, 2000-2007. ISBN 976-95057-0-6, Lands, Cheryl, Creole Remedies of Trinidad and Tobago. C. Lands, 2001. Mendes, John. Code C. Code La, Trinidad and Tobago Dictionary. Arama, Trinidad. 1986. Seth, Radhika and Linda Say, Mark. Why Not a Woman? Port of Spain, Pariah Publishing Company Limited, 1993. ISBN 976-8054-42-5. Visitor's Guide to Trinidad and Tobago Jeremy Taylor, London, Macmillan, 1986. ISBN 978-0-333-41985-4. Second edition as Trinidad and Tobago, an introduction and guide. External links, Trinidad and Tobago Government Portal, official Trinidad and Tobago Tourism Company website, the 2011 UN International Year for People of African Descent, Trinidad and Tobago Entry at the World Factbook. Trinidad and Tobago from UCB Libraries Gov Pubs, and Tobago Trinidad and Tobago at DMOZ, Trinidad and Tobago Profile from the BBC News, World Bank Summary Trade Statistics Trinidad and Tobago, Wikimedia Atlas of Trinidad and Tobago, Geographic Data Related to Trinidad and Tobago at OpenStreetMap, Key Development Forecasts for Trinidad and Tobago from International Futures.